Hi dear students, welcome to Bosco campus mission. This is Seema Dudley. Welcome to my another video on the topic Internet of Things. In the last video we were discussing about the simplified IoT architecture and uh, we uh, divided the different layers into two different stacks and the first stack was IoT functional stack and the second stack was management and compute stack so in this video we will uh, discuss in detail about the iot function stack so the first division core iot functional stack the core iot functional stack uh, network are built around the concept of things that is Objects in a base the Tana, that is smart objects in a base the Tana, e core IoT functional stack work in. So, this uh, core IoT functional stack consists of uh, three different layers that is, the things, first one is the things that means the smart objects like sensors and acuities. Then, next is the communication network, and third one is the applications. And we have already uh, discussed that these can be again sublayered into different divisions. That is, the things are the smart objects, but the communication layer can be again subdivided into four. That is, the access network, gateway and backhaul network, network transport layer, and IoT network management. Then. The application layer in the core IoT functional stack can be again divided into analytics and vertical specific applications. So, first thing is the uh, first layer in this core IoT functional stack is the things layer. And this layer consists of the physical devices, that is, the smart objects. The next layer is the communication layer. So this communication layer means uh, along this a smart object cannot do anything. If there uh, gets some data, it, that data should be communicated. Then only we will be getting some insight. So our data communicated. So we need a communication network. And that communication network is again subdivided into different layers first one is the access network sub layer and this access uh, network sub layer is made up of wireless technologies uh, that is the sensors connected to the access network may also be wired the next sub layer of communication network is a gateway and the backhaul network and uh, this gateway is commonly used to communicate at, uh, act as an intermediate between two uh, devices okay for communication help in our device I don't know gateway in a corner a common communication system organizes multiple smart objects in a given area around a common gateway and the gateway communicates directly with the smart objects and the role of the gateway is to forward the collected information through a long range medium and this long range medium is called the back out to the head end central station uh, our central station learner the information and the uh, process here and uh, this information exchange layer is the layer 7 that is the application layer and uh, uh, this is a reason we call it as a gateway and uh, on ip networks this gateway also forwards packets from one ip network to another ip network and it acts as a router next is a network transport sub layer communication network in the arturo sub layer on a network transport sub layer and uh, uh, for communication to be successful, network and transport layer protocols such as IP and UDP must be implemented to support the variety of devices to connect and 
media to use. So, we use different devices. So, all devices use them. So, we use the protocols in the network and transport layer. And the, another sub-layer is the IoT network management sub-layer. It is an additional protocol uh, to allow the head and applications to exchange data with the sensors. The last layer of core IoT functional stack is the application layer. And the application layer has two sub-layers, that is the analytics and the vertical specific applications. And uh, this uh, layer, the application needs to process the collected data. Okay, the collected data process in the applications are and collect here, matra valla it control the smart objects when necessary and uh, to make intelligent decisions based on the information collected and in return instruct the things or other systems to adapt to the analyzed conditions and change their behavior or parameters okay so e applications are collected data uh, analyze here, matra, process here, matra, Allah, she another. It also take specific decisions. We collected data in a base data. Uh, first layer, lola things and the kitchen of nola decision at Kanadum, your layer on. The first layer in the IoT functional stack, core IoT functional stack, is the things that means the smart objects. The smart objects uh, is an object that enhances the interaction with other smart objects as well as the people also. And we uh, come across in our daily life a lot of uh, smart objects. And uh, smart objects are utilized widely to transform the physical environment around us to a digital world using the Internet of Things technologies. A smart object carries blocks of application logic that make sense of sense for their local situation and interact with human users. A smart object sends, log, and interpret the occurrence within themselves and the environment and intercommunicate with each other and exchange information with people. And these uh, smart objects can be uh, divided into different uh, classifications. And uh, the first one is a battery powered or power connected smart objects. So this classification is uh, primarily based on whether or not the object incorporates its very own energy supply or receives non-stop power from an exterior power source. Battery powered matters can be moved greater without difficulty than line powered objects. However, batteries restrict the lifetime and the quality of power that the object is allowed to consume. For this reason, riding transmission varies and the frequency. The second classification is mobile or static. This classification is predicted on whether the thing should move or always reside in a identical location. A sensor might also be cell due to the fact it is moved from one object to some other or due to the fact it is connected to a transferring object. The third classification is based on low or excessive reporting frequency. This classification is uh, primarily based on how regular the object must report monitored parameters. A rust sensor can also report values as soon as a month. A motion sensor can also report acceleration at various 100 instances a second. Higher frequencies force greater strength conception, which can also create a constraint on the feasible strength supply and the transmission range. And uh, 
the fourth classification is rich or simple okay that is simple or rich data this classification is based uh, totally on the extent of records exchanged at every reporting cycle a humidity sensor in an area can also report an easy daily index value another classification is uh, according to the report range that is this classification is primarily based on the distance at which the gateway is located and uh, another classification is based on the object density per cell this classification is based totally on the number of smart objects over a given area linked to the identical gate Here we have a figure to provide some examples of applications matching the combination of mobility and throughput requirement. If the applications require low mobility and low throughput, then the applicational areas are industrial like pumps, motors, etc. Then in the areas of environmental like weather sensors, etc then at home for security that is fire and security control and if uh, the applications require low mobility and high throughput then the applicational areas are digital signal uh, uh, telemedicine traffic camera etc then the, if the applicational areas require high mobility and low throughput then the applications are fleet management vehicle telematics then if uh, the applications require only uh, require high mobility and high throughput then the applicational areas are connected personal smart devices some of the assignment questions related to this video is first question explain the different layers of the core IoT functional stack. Second question, explain the architectural classification of smart object. Third question, using a neat diagram, mention some examples of applications matching the combination of mobility and throughput requirement. Complete the assignment and forward it to the email ID provided to you. Thank you.